O mundo na panela. Greetings from Brazil. In this video I will show you how to make focaccia. This is actually one of my favorite breads from northern Italy. There are so many variations you could do, but I will show you the classic one. Only with rosemary and fleur de sel. But you can do yours with dried tomatoes. You can use olives, roasted garlic or onions. By the way, I like my focaccia the most with salad or even better, I make myself a focaccia burger. You can find a short video of my focaccia burger on my channel or on my blog. So let us begin. The rosemary has to be roughly chopped. Don't chop it too fine. You want all the essential oils in your focaccia, not in your cutting board. You put the flour into the bowl. I sift the flour actually before. If you have to do this, well, it's up to you, but I'm the opinion that the dough will rise more evenly. You add the polenta, the yeast, the roughly chopped rosemary and also a little salt. You give it a whisk, so all the ingredients are later evenly spread out in your dough. And the flour mix, pour also a little honey, that will make the yeast work better. You will also add the olive oil, this will have a great taste. By the way, this is not the last time you will add some olive oil. And last but not least, you add 3 4th of the water and stir it in with a spatula. You mix everything as good as possible. After a while you will recognize, oh man, this is really getting hard. It's a thick dough. This is why you only work at the beginning with a spatula. And now you see why? It's broken. You see, I switched to a spoon. Well, this can happen, just don't let it bother you. You will add the last sip of water, the dough is still kind of hard to work. And this is the reason we will switch to the working surface. Sift some flour on this working surface. You put your dough on there and we can start to knead. At the beginning you will be wondering, this should become a bread, a focaccia? Unbelievable! As you see, it's really hard to knead and doesn't have to look off a perfect dough yet. You just need a little patience and the dough will look better and better after a while. The dough looks now much better. I will pour some olive oil on it and knead it in. This step you have to do three times. The dough has become softer and softer. This is the time for the second sip of olive oil. You put it on the dough and knead it in. The dough now is a little sticky, but this is nothing to worry about at this point. This is the third time you knead in a little olive oil. As you see, the dough is even more sticky. Sometimes it's even hard to take it off the working surface. This is why you sift a little flour on top. This is not much, only one eighth of a cup. But it really makes a lot of difference, as you can see. I can knead the dough now much better. We are pretty much through with the kneading. The dough has to be put now in the bowl to rise. You put some olive oil in the bowl, make sure it's enough, put the dough inside and pour also some olive oil on top. Press it in the bowl and cover it up with aluminium foil. The dough will rise now about 45 minutes to 1 hour or until it has doubled its size. As you see, it's really hot today, over 90 degrees, so the dough has risen a little more, I expected. But I will show you my mistake in my video. In the baking form you drizzle a little olive oil and spread it all over. Don't forget the sides. Of course you can also use normal baking sheet, this is totally up to you. Put the dough on your baking form, press out the air and spread it. This is what it should look like. Drizzle a little olive oil on top and spread it with a brush. After this the dough should rest about 10 to 15 minutes. This is now actually my favorite part, making the holes and dents. Push your fingers all the way through until the bottom. Afterwards you look for parts you missed and make holes with a single finger. Now the dough has to rise again for about 30 to 45 minutes. Look how beautiful it looks now. It raised and doubled its size again. This is now the last time we brush a very little olive oil on top. Sprinkle some fleur de sel on top. Well, unfortunately you hardly can see it. This is one of my first videos, so please forgive me. The focaccia was now for 50 minutes at 480 degrees in the oven. 
Doesn't it look beautiful? I will cut it up for you. It's really a pity you can't smell what I'm smelling. Olive oil, rosemary, fresh bread. Really awesome. It's fluffy, it's soft, it's just perfect. Have fun trying my recipe for your favorite focaccia. Write me if you liked it. You will find the link to the recipe and my homepage beneath. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I would be delighted. Bon appétit. Greetings from Brazil from O Mundo na Panela.